Hello, welcome to the West Vancouver Art Museum. My name is Hilary Latwin and I'm the curator here. It gives me great pleasure today to introduce you to our new exhibition, Cornelia Hahn Oberlander, Genius Loci. This exhibition was created in partnership between the West Vancouver Art Museum and the Art Gallery of Alberta, Poole Centre of Design. It was co-curated by myself and Amory Calvelli. Much of the material that you're going to see today is on loan from the Canadian Centre for Architecture. We're very grateful for the support of Canadian Heritage Government of Canada and here in West Vancouver, additional support from British Pacific Properties Limited, ENS Gautier Landscape Architects, Save More Plumbing and Lighting, and Craig Litwin and Benita Lee. Cornelia Hahn Oberlander was born in 1921 in Germany. At the age of 17, she fled with her mother and sister from Nazi Germany to America. Oberlander went on to study at Smith College in Massachusetts, and in 1944, she continued her studies at the Graduate School of Design at Harvard University. Over her seven decade long career, Oberlander has been the recipient of many honors, including the Companion of the Order of Canada and the highest award from both the American Society of Landscape Architects and the International Federation of Landscape Architects. When we were setting about to select the projects that we wanted to showcase, we were looking to present a selection of projects from different points in her career. So some of the projects date back to her very early career in the 1950s, and some of them are much more recent. Oberlander's playgrounds are an invitation to urban youth, teenagers and families to develop creatively, to engage socially, and to find deeper connections with their natural environment. Translating community knowledge and the research of educators and child development specialists into spontaneous play activities, Oberlander's playgrounds are notable for advancing awareness of the potential of play to influence children's creativity. Over the course of her career, she would go on to design over 70 playgrounds in neighborhoods, schools, and housing projects. Concerns for the social fabric that are evident in Oberlander's work reveal a play between ecological sustainability and social equity. Oberlander has long advocated for landscape architects to think bigger, to collaborate with engineers, architects, planners, and the public to make places that are more sustainable and that address the human condition with more empathy. Since her first private residence project in Vancouver in 1953, Oberlander has designed gardens for over 30 private commissions in Vancouver and Toronto. She approaches these designs with many of the same considerations that she brings to her larger scale public projects undertaking research into the immediate area, its soil, and the existing land formations. Many of the larger public projects on which Oberlander has worked has been in concert with a team of people, including architects, engineers, and government officials. From the beginning, Oberlander has approached each large project armed with significant research and technical knowledge to create a landscape that would enhance the grand scale architecture. Oberlander is always attuned to the native flora of the specific geographical site, largely eschewing a manicured aesthetic for natural vistas punctuated often by groves of trees that pause the eye. For this exhibition, we were able to create a publication which is available for purchase through our website or in person here at the West Vancouver Art Museum. Cornelia Hahn Oberlander Genius Loci runs here at the West Vancouver Art Museum until March 13th. Please check out our website, westvancouverartmuseum.ca, for details about upcoming in-person and virtual events. We look forward to seeing you here soon.